Happy Fish Keeping Friday, Fish Keepers. Welcome to the Dan Life. Oops, spilled my coffee. Welcome to the Dan Life of a tropical fish shop that is closing down. Not a chocolate fish shop, as cool as it would be. All right, we're about 20 minutes in away from getting into the Fanatics Friday coffee date, so I'm literally going to leave this video here. Once we get out from that, we are going to talk about what we're going to do today. By the way, today's guest is none other than Jay Wilson. It is going to be a fun time. I hope you manage to check it out live. If not, definitely check out the replay. Right, I'm going to do that. We're back on the other side of that. That was really cool. Jay is really cool. Uh, I enjoyed that for Cool Factor. I enjoyed that for we're talking about a little bit of technical stuff when it came to filtration and pumps and stuff like that, which we haven't really done before on the Planet's Friday Coffee Date. Uh, overall, it was just a really cool, cool couple of hours. Um, I feel got a bit of spirit animal action going on, which was also quite nice. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. It was cool. Definitely go check it out. Uh, make a cup of coffee or get a beer or a glass of wine or what have you. Sit back, enjoy a couple hours talking about aquariums and tropical fish and stuff like that. So that was a fun time. Uh, been for my walk, uh, my decompression walk. I was into Slipknot of all things, which I thought might have pushed me up, but it's just calmed me down quite nicely. So hopefully we're not going to ride a day of emotional ups and downs and we can get some things done. So let's check out what we're going to do today. So yesterday we moved all of these bad saps. We got another full rack to move today. This tank has been established, been running for quite some time. Sponge filter, canister filter, uh, sorry, uh, hang on back filter and all that. Uh, but I'm a little bit dubious about adding too many fish too quickly. Um, I might hook up another airline and put on another big established sponge filter onto it just to sort of counter that bio load or chuck some more wood in as well uh, just so there's some more bio that comes with it and we should be okay do a couple of water changes and we should be tickety-boo but just still a little bit cautious don't want to go too hard too quickly but it's kind of cool watching these fish just do fish stuff so uh, yeah light feeding for the next few days as well so nothing gets too over the top water changes and away we go so that's what we're doing today somewhat didn't get a chance to move these over yesterday uh, so we'll do this as well, fairly important. This is pretty much the last of the aquarium, last of the fish that are to come forward into the shop, so wouldn't mind getting that done pretty quickly. We're also going to do a couple of quick water changes in through here, in through here, in through here, although well, these can go to the shop, and in through here. Uh, this tank's just looking a little bit murky with the additional fish that went in yesterday, so I might just uh, clean the water out a little bit, make sure everything's all tickety-boo. It is 11 a.m. The sun is absolutely out. What a gorgeous spring morning it is today. Sun's out. Let's get it on. It is time for today's Algorithm Engage. It's where I ask you a question. You like the video, you subscribe if you haven't because it's a fun time. Uh, the question that I ask you, you answer. You do this because then more people see these videos and then more people see the Fanatics Friday Coffee Date, which is a good time. If you don't know what Fanatics Friday Coffee Date is, check it out. It's in our podcast section or in our live section get people from around the world who love aquariums just like you and I to talk about aquariums. What more could you want? Uh, oh, ironically, these videos are being shown to less people and the Fanatics Friday Coffee Data are being shown to more people. So it's working in one way or another, so we will take that. Anyway, today's question is a real simple one. It's not even a question. Uh, it was John's birthday yesterday. Uh, so he was unable to attend the Fanatics Friday Coffee Date today because he had a surprise birthday dinner to go that his family organised. So all I want from you today is to say happy birthday John in the comment section. Let's not be rude and guess his age, let's just stick with happy birthday John. That's all we want, nice and simple, happy birthday. And uh, that is it for today's Algorithm Engager. So thank you very much, on with the video. Mandatory front hose of love. At the moment, I'm not sure how we're going to squeeze mandatory frontosa love in each video, as well as what's probably going to be mandatory corridor and dine love, because I like the look of that of the tank now. Sure you aren't going to mind a bit of front love and a bit of Corey love all in one go? Just doing water changes, had an amazing idea. Maybe when we close the shop down, we should change the YouTube name to 
uh, Frontosa or Corey's after we interviewed Kelly or Corey's. I'm a thinker. I'm a thinker. FYI, I was taking the piss. I'm not going to do that. Right, so we've done water changes. Believe it or not, well, doing water changes, believe it or not, when you've got less aquariums to look after, it takes significantly less time. So I went a bit further, did that one. That one is now totally drained. Did these three through here. Sorties, Corys, Bristol Nosies, and Corys. So we'll fill them up and then we'll move some more fish. A bit. Whip it good. That was the song I was playing. All right, water changes across the board over there. Completed. All topped up, all done. That's good. Uh, I'm going to get some kai into my belly and then we're going to get moving these fish. Bronzies, tail spots, black sails, skunkies, albino, and peppered. And we'll have a wee conversation about all of them as they are in the container. I'm also going to go through and just double check that I haven't missed anything here. I'm 99% sure that 1234 all done. There might or may or may not be one extra. Uh, a Dolphoy in here. There's definitely a something there. Uh, and I'll just double check in here now. It's not cloudy, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there as well. So uh, once that's done, well, yeah, be able to start draining them out and then hopefully sell them. Also having a little bit of an identity crisis at the moment. All of this planning is working fine, but I'm still dubious about keeping the L numbers. There's not a lot. There's one, two, three, plus two, two different groups of ancestors. So there's not a lot, but I'm still a bit dubious on whether or not I keep them, or if I just move them on, and then literally all that I have in my fish room at home is the Frontosas, Lupi, Cynodontis, the Clown Loaches, and the Cats. So, and maybe a couple of Tetris. Yeah, just a little bit of an identity crisis, just not quite sure how to work through this, but we will get there, we will get there. Want to see some cool catfish? Well, here they are. Looks stupidly cool in there. I wonder if it's the blue background making it look stupidly cool. With the mixture of that sand or it's just the fish that are actually in there i don't know either way i like it right refueled ready for action and we're gonna move some fish gonna start at the bottom this time so my seat doesn't get wet plain and simple so I'll start at the bottom and we'll work our way up let's do this first on today's list uh, albino Corydoras. Uh, these are the first ever Cory that I ever encountered. Uh, a friend of mine I was studying at the time had a small group of them in his little community aquarium. He loved them. I didn't. I thought they were creepy. Nonetheless, I've got some. Uh, these guys spawn regularly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What's in the way? Shit. Shit. Didn't plan that very well. Anyway, these guys spawn regularly, but I'm yet to take any eggs or have any fertilized eggs or anything like that. They've just uh, spawned. I'll see them spawn and then uh, not think about them. All when they do, they go moldy on me. So, yeah, that's the first one for the day. Next is the Peppered Corridoras. <laughs> Pilatus. Pilates. Pilatus. Might be the old name, might be a new name. I'm not sure if they change or not. Anyway, not to be confused with the uh, Peppered Corridors, which is the Hasbostus. Hasbostus? It starts with H and it's a lot smaller. <gasps> Nearly spilled it. Anyway, in they go. Ah! So we've had a regular, we relatively regularly had spawnings from these guys. Uh, they tended to enjoy spawning on the sponge filter, so. Uh, Any time after we did maintenance, check the sponge filter, and there was often eggs all over there. Did get some on the glass, but often it was on the sponge filter. I was assuming it was purely related to the flow going inwards, would draw them into it, and keep them keen to spawn on there. So that was just my assumption. Uh, the last lot of these that we sold in the shop were actually produced in here. So, yeah. There we go. Let's get the next group. Next on the list, the skunk quarries, the uh, Arcuatus, I believe is how you pronounce it. 
very cool corridors little catfish i don't know if they still are corridors but anyway you know where we're going with that <clears throat> probably one of my favorites of all time uh, we had some in the shop maybe seven years ago in our first shop and i fell in love with them there was like six or eight of them or something like that just sitting in a line together just look like they were pointing I fell in love with them from that moment uh, unfortunately i started with eight i mean six sorry and i've only got four so i've lost a couple on the way no spawns from these haven't really tried too hard to get that yet uh, also they've been living in with a pair of uh, keyhole cichlids so if they had spawned the chances are the eggs would have been consumed anyway and in they go very cool little species of fish very very cool Next we've got the Melon Istus, I'm going to be butchering that name. Uh, here they're referred to as Blue Spot or Black Sail Corridors. Another one of my favourites, I mean they're quite funky and quite cool. Uh, no spawning reports or like that, never really attempted, just sort of kept them for themselves. Uh, this is a group of eight from memory, maybe more. Um, often when we get quarries in here they, they don't travel very well, so if I buy a group of six or so to sell, and I'm only left with one or two, I just chuck them into groups, which is pretty much what has happened here. And there you go. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. So now I am genuinely beginning to be concerned about the amount of fish that are in this tank. Um, it's not huge, and there's a lot of quarries, so. Yeah, a bit of a concern. Uh, we'll clear out the, the rack that we're clearing out, so it's two more species. And I won't be putting in the other rack full of quarries for now. Possibly not at all. Purely just for the amount of bio load that's going in there. Um, there's a lot of eyeballs in one tank that I would hate to lose, basically, so I might need to think about something. Originally the plan was to keep them all in here when we move home, uh, which is still possible as long as I've done my maths right and we can hurry up and get these tanks uh, running and moved and all that kind of stuff, so um, yeah, just a little bit dubious for the time being, but I've got to make this move for the time being, so uh, we are where we are and it is what it is, so yeah, maybe if they're all in this tank I'd feel a bit better over that four foot tank, uh, mainly because the, it's about a foot longer quite a bit wider but it's also the general water volume it's not a heck of a lot of water volume in that other tank so yeah next on the move is the tail spot uh, these are comacalatus comacalatus i think is how you pronounce it uh may or may not have had the name change i'm not sure this is a breeding group as you can see there with a little young one there it was a surprise fry uh i just had a piece of wood in the tank with them nothing else and all of a sudden i found a fry so i was pretty happy with that uh, much like the, the black sails, uh, I've just sort of added to these as we've got new fish in and lost a few in the, in the process sort of scenario. So I don't know how many we started with, but we had as many as that was in that container. Get out of here, bugger! Uh, so yeah, I wasn't sure how they were spawning, but as I've just been clearing out their tank, I've found some eggs, so I'll show you them now. Uh, so here is tail spot. Macalatus eggs in through here. Uh, there's a few of them tucked in here. Like the first time they spawned, they weren't spawning on mops or with mops, but this time they clearly have. I don't know how many they have times they've spawned um, or anything like that. I haven't really attempted to uh, physically try to spawn. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually physically tried to, to spawn them or anything like that, they've just kind of done it themselves, so um, I was excited to know that I had a spawning group, and it looks like they enjoy, or well, they were, spawning on the floating spawning mops, so we just chuck this back in there and some fry come out of it, some fry come out of it, if not, well, it doesn't. And last but not least in that rack, our standard bronze corridors, which aren't really called corridors anymore. Uh, these guys spawn relatively regularly, as to be expected. Um, I have found, however, if I don't very actively get the eggs very quickly, 
they get eaten within a very short period of time. So if I am actually wanting to harvest eggs, which I don't all the time because uh, they produce so much, we don't need to take every spawn. Uh, but if we do want to do that, we, I kind of have to sit there and watch them, allow them to, to lay fertilize straight away and then take them away. Otherwise, within a minute or two, they begin getting eaten. Um, and then it's pretty much game over. So that is two racks full of quarries in one tank. So I've still got two more species over there, one more over in that planted rack to move on. Julii, which aren't Julii, pandas, pygmies, and stirbys in through here. And that is basically it. Um, I don't think I'm going to move these ones for now. I'll just let sleeping dogs lay. Um, I'm very concerned that this is too many fish in too short a period of time, and there's going to be a disaster which I clearly do not want. Uh, but have to do what we have to do for the time being, just a lot of monitoring, light feeding, keep a very close eye on, on what we've just done. So yeah, that's where that's at for now. So after talking smack about sponge filters this morning, I've just added a couple extras in. Just in case. That's okay noisy motorway today. So yeah, extra additional air, extra additional sponges, hopefully we should be okay. Extra additional paying attention. Like magic, the task I set up a week ago is now completed. Happy days. And that concludes the end of our video for the day. I think it's been a fairly long one catching all those quarries and stuff like that, so hopefully it's not too long and you don't find it too boring. Uh, we'll see you again, probably not tomorrow. I'm unlikely to be in for much tomorrow, just checking out some fish, make sure it's okay. Uh, so we'll see you again on Monday. Have a good one, team. Happy fish getting. Catch you all later.